Well, a class action lawsuit claims some of the country's top selling California wines contain high levels of arsenic. I was afraid when I first heard this story, mm -hmm. I will admit. The lawsuit lists 83 wines that had higher than what is considered safe levels, at least by drinking water standards, of arsenic. Laboratories analyzed the wines and found that the lower the price of the wine, the higher the amount of arsenic. So several winemakers issued statements in response to the lawsuit, most of them saying that they intend to challenge those allegations. Our lawyer in blue jeans, Jeff Isaac, is uh, digging into this one this morning with us and uh, talking about the lawsuit and how far this can go and how these companies can actually claim that there's really no high levels of arsenic. Well, who's got the burden of proof? Is it the companies or is it the people that are suing? So it's not just allegations. This is actually a lawsuit that was filed March 19th of this year, just a few days ago. And uh, what it's, I just read the whole complaint. I did my homework. And oh my gosh, I mean, there's a lot in there. They're, in, they're saying that this was intentional on the winery's part, that they did it for greed, they did it to misrepresent to the public, that they violated uh, unjust enrichment, all kinds of legal theories. But Jeff, why would a business intentionally put arsenic in their product that they want you to buy? If they, well, uh, I'm not saying that they are, so let's make that sure. clear first. Right. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of reasons they could do that if they were, if they were found to be guilty. Uh, maybe it saved them money that they didn't have to do other things to keep the wines uh, intact. I mean, there's a lot of things. These are cheap wines. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is two buck uh, chuck, two buck right. chuck, and and Franzi and uh, Sutter Holmes and and cupcake, which I had a bottle of last week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so. You know, uh, it, it is a class action lawsuit. This will not see the light of day for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether or not it's true or not, the allegations are, have been met with the wine companies and their scientists saying, look, you need to have over four bottles of wine a day just to catch up to what the minimum requirements or the maximum requirements of water is, because there's arsenic in our water. So it'd be unsafe four bottles a day of that's, this stuff. That, that's the other side of the story. Now, we don't know what, you know, there's, there's a lot to this lawsuit. It's going to be very expensive. It's going to be very difficult to prove. And if, in fact, they win, they're, they, the uh, plaintiffs, uh, they're going to have to, uh, the winery's going to have to take all their bottles off the shelf. They're going to have to pay God knows how many millions, hundreds of millions, maybe more. Um, and of course, the lawyers will get a ton of the money. And you and I, if we ever had a cupcake bottle or two buck chuck, we might get a, a gift certificate or a something. A gift certificate for another bottle that may contain arsenic well, or may not. not. Yeah. But um, the thing here is, it just goes back to the issue of labeling. People want to know what is what they're consuming. What? Why not put it in the label? Well, and that's really an FDA issue. Yeah. It, well, or EPA. There's so many different agencies involved, that, and and they're not suing any of them. They're not uh, alleging the government uh, was negligent in in what they were doing. They're just going right after the wineries. They're going where the money is. These wineries are making a lot of money. Uh, these are huge profit centers. And it seems like the damage may already be done because the reputation is being damaged just with the allegations. And that's the problem when you have lawsuits because what you've done is that now it's a media focus and you talked on the air yesterday, we're talking about it today, it's not going to stop anytime soon. And how many people are going to just run out and buy two buck chuck right now or a franzia wine? No one. I I'd say not very many. And, and yes, they're less expensive. These are under $10 bottles. But uh, once you hear about this, you're going to get a little squeamish. Right. And, and that hurts the, the winery. So if they're innocent, then they are going to take it a big hit. Mm -hmm. and they anyway. can turn around and sue. Can not really. Cause, no? No, well, probably not. Because mm -hmm. uh, unless they can show that they knew that this was fraudulent in, in the lawsuit itself, right. then what are they going to do? I mean, that's the problem with our law society sometimes is that they're, they run to, rush to judgment. And now you and I as consumers are going to go, Deal with the damage. I don't think I want to take a chance. I'd rather spend 20 bucks for a bottle and know that arsenic is not going to yeah. be in my system. We'll see where this goes. Lauren Blue Jeans, we'll Jeff Isaac. We'll keep an eye. Thanks for being with <laughs> okay. us this morning.